Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-2006, also known as Too Spooky. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-2006, Object Class, Catter. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2006 is to contained at Site-118 in an airtight containment cell. SCP-2006 must be constantly monitored for changes, in form, which are to be noted immediately. All personnel coming into contact with SCP-2006 are required to enroll in an acting course with a focus on expressing fear and surprise. Every month, SCP-2006 is to be shown at least one new, extremely low-quality horror or science fiction movie containing horror elements. All interaction with SCP-2006 was confirmed that SCP-2006 contains belief that said works demonstrate a superb grasp of horror. Description: SCP-2006 is an anomalous spherical entity roughly centimeters, 50 centimeters in diameter in its default state. SCP-2006's say goal is to cause feelings of fear and or horror in as many humans as possible. To accomplish this, pur this purpose, SCP-2006 possesses the ability to change its shape, mass, volume, density, chemical structure, and voice to any form that it desires. Currently, there is no known way to damage SCP-2006. The extent of its shape-shifting abilities is unknown, and is currently thought to be unlimited. Currently, SCP-2006 has demonstrated a fondness for taking the forms of various entities and villains from the various horror and science fiction movies that it has witnessed. The most common form that SCP-2006 has taken is that of Roman from the 1953 movie Robot Monster. SCP-2006 is capable of speaking even when it possesses the form of an entity that is normally unable to speak. SCP 2006 will generally attempt to startle and or scare any individual it comes into contact with, but after doing so will become affable and friendly. The reason behind this is currently unknown. Although SCP-2006 has, replete, has repeatedly stated its goal of causing as much fear as possible, SCP-2006 is a poor judge of concepts of that cause fear in humans, and constantly searches for new methods in which to accomplish its goal. For recognition it extends to recognition of human of emotions of humans, as SCP-2006 is incapable of distinguishing between several between subtle differences in humans that would be obvious to a human. Interview log 2006. Interviewer Dr. Loeff interviewed SCP-2006. Dr. Loeff enters the room. SCP-2006 is seen crouched near the door. SCP-2006 is in its Roman form. SCP-2006 proceeds to leap out of its couch, throwing its arms in the air. In the air. Fear me, mortal! I am the mighty Roman! Cower in fear! Dr. Loeff screams, stumbles backward, and raising his hand in protection. Please, mighty Roman! Don't hurt me! Haha, <laughs> it's just me, Doc. I got you pretty good, didn't I? SCP-2006? Oh, oh dear lord, you really frightened me there. I was about to have... have a heart attack. It's what I do, Doc. <laughs> Boo! Dr. Love stumbles again. <laughs> Still got it. So is there something that you wanted to talk about, Doc? Yes, I was wondering, why exactly do you feel the need to cause a fear in others? I don't understand the question. That is, why do you scare people? Oh, that's an easy one. I scare people because it's fun, and you know, it's what I do. Just like you do doctory stuff, I do scary stuff. I'm the best at it. 
I don't see what that else there is, is about it. That you are. I'll take my leave then. Come back around soon. I'll have some really scary stuff next time. By the way, I will eat your soul. Let me out of here. I'm gonna die of fright. Addendum. The current site director for site 118 has issued for all in memorandum regarding SV-2006. I have been getting reports of some lax behavior regarding 2006. Many first now have been heard laughing at SP-2006 during surveillance when it watches a new movie, or when it attempts to scare individuals. Some first now have been heard questioning why SCP-2006 is classified as a Keter entity. I am here to remind you that a Keter entity is a Keter entity. Regardless of an inaugurus it may seem, no, SV-2006 is not a, raging, a rampaging demigod, I'm guessing that's Adam, nor is a regenerating super lizard, that's 6A2 or D, hard to destroy reptile. However, it possesses the same level of danger as any other editor that the Foundation has contained. Think of SCP-2006's purpose. It wishes to scare people. Imagine what would happen if SCP-2006 broke containment. I think it would turn into a Five Nights at Freddy's character. And find out what really scared people. Imagine if it saw the horror and fear of war, or the concepts of paranoia or phobias common to each and every human being. Imagine if it found the true horror of a nuclear holocaust or an XK-class scenario. Now couple that with an entity that possesses shape-shifting abilities with no known limits, and you'll understand why it's classified as Keter. All personnel mentioned above have been suitably disciplined. I do not want to hear about this again. Dr. Randall at Owings, Site-118 Director. And that was SCP-2006. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!